G'day team. Now, excuse me if I'm a little bit out of breath because I saw how magnificent the sunset was gonna be. And man, we just sprinted straight down here and got set up. So we're a little bit behind, but look at that. You know, I'm not normally the fellow who does a bunch of gradients, but if I was, that would be what I want to capture every day, every time. We've got two brushes, one big, thick, fat one, and one smaller, frayed one. Kind of fun. Let me bring you out with the shop, team. Tweety, tweety, tweety. Spin it around this way. We'll sit it down right about there. That is absolutely lovely. And then we'll bring in this here. Hello, Ryan. And hello chat. Welcome in guys. Let me just flick this over here. We've got Ryan in here. Riggs Nina. Nina with the first comment and Jordan being the first person who joined. That's all set up. Put that down there. I was getting on top of these plates though. Let's get just a little bit more of this. A little bit more of this. A little bit more of that. That's the plan. We've got some people laughing at the top there. They've never seen a Kiwi come down here with a bunch of paint and a canvas. Hello, Aggie. Whose morning's it for? Morning in the USA. It is currently, it's currently, push you back a little bit so you can see, guys, but this is currently on sunset here in New Zealand. I'll put you right there. Look at that. Because I want these two and the romance of the evening to be captured right here, right now. Here we go. I agree. Big brush or little brush is the question. Jose, love your art. Beautiful and diverse. I love your attitude. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, Jose. I appreciate that. I do try and, in quite a cheesy way, transpose some vitality onto the surface. And when people notice it, it means a lot. What time is it right now? That's a question I can't quite answer. I think it's just after 5 p.m. We're about to have the most stiller of a sunset here. Look at, Look at those colors. Look at those colours, you should be down here painting guys. Why is there 62 people here and no one's down on this beach right now slapping paint on a canvas? It's actually kind of outrageous. Ryan, it's amazing to see how this painting is coming to showing love and romance. Romance, yes, but most importantly love. If you want to capture love. Romance, it, 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 it fluctuates, but love's always having momentum and charging for you. So anyway, here we go. Hello Cyrus, I am from the land of the long white cloud, down here at the beach, slapping around, just a little bit of paint, enjoying it for such a thing. Could you do me one massive favour? Yes, I am indeed. Who do we have here? Oh my God, you must be called Gina. Not quite. 
It's actually quite a brisk, warm movement. There's something about to happen. If not happening at this present moment. And a lovely picture celebrating the love of these two gentlemen. And we're not finished with this work, but this is the kind of place where this kind of love needs to be captured. This is the kind of place where when you imagine the figurative definition of love, or their love, I think the place is like this. All right. Excuse me too, guys, I am a romantic. Yeah, we've got uh, Shelby and Chris down here in the front pack. Which is kind of fun. Which is kind of fun. Good morning, Devon. Welcome on in. Devon, you have surprised me here because your voice should have come out through this phone. Unless I've made some kind of mistake. But I haven't. It should be working. But Devon, ever since I jumped into your live and gave you a few roses, you have non-stop been showing up all over my feed on uh, TikTok. I think that should be working now. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Five o'clock, yes indeed. Love is love irrelevant, love is love. Um, I don't even think you need to say that. I think more importantly, love is great. Out of the whole spectrum of emotions, love is the best. Um, I think when you say love is love, you insinuate almost by the declaration of the statement is the philosophy major coming out of me that there's possibly a kind of love that isn't love you know that there could be an argument on the other side but there's not love is great love is beautiful and love is absolutely amazing and uh, i'm literally honored whether i'm doing a wedding shot hey hey that works coming up on your fyp my videos all the others <laughs> okay, it's working. It's working. Good, 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 good. Let's see if I can put that down there. I've got the uh, subs comments coming out live, which is kind of fun for me. Because it means I won't miss them. It's a drone going along in there. Guys, you see what I'm seeing now? Let me just twist you around here. Here we go. place to paint. We haven't got a whole lot of that sweet, sweet uh, sunlight left. But we'll use what we do have to play around. We'll use what we do have. Who said that? Miss Honey, welcome on back. Ooh, Devon. I'm learning something new, Devon. I didn't realize you were from Cape Town. I thought you... I didn't know if I thought you were from... No, you were European. That's what I thought. You are from Europe. But uh, Cape Town. You know... I've never actually been to Cape Town, not once. Not once. And it breaks my heart. It does break my heart. One day, one day I'll come with uh, Cooper and the baby. One day soon. Thank you very much. Here's our image team. Our lovely two. Going on this campus here. Now, Speaking of Cape Town, going to a quick shout out. Who's in the chat right now? Which countries do we have? This is New Zealand. We've got Cape Town. I know we've got America, but a breakdown of states is always lovely. Ooh. 
fix that, right? Do people ask you about your painting while you paint? Yes. Yes, yes, honey. All the time. And I actually encourage it because if people ask about the painting, it makes you question your own little narrative. And if you question it, the overall painting improves because sometimes you can fall down a little goat tracks and mistakes and you need the ability to be able to actually step back and critique your own art. If you don't have that, you can get lost. Dallas, Texas. Aggie, I like your style. I won't forget that. Miss Honey, I knew you were from New Zealand. Welcome on in. Mexico. You know, my partner had a corona today. So, I too am a connoisseur of Mexico. Virginian, Virgin Islands. All right, all right. That's a fun one. I haven't heard that one before. Who's got one we haven't heard before? Slovenia? That's another one. That's another one. Seattle, Washington State. Seattle actually owns an original wildcard. There is an original Sid Gow in a private house in Seattle. So, that's a fun fact. And who else do we have here? Just Ryan giving some silver burns. Ryan, I'll get bits, thank you very much. Not just Ryan giving silver ferns, the Ryan. Thanks, Miss Honey, I appreciate you. You should love the painting instead. <laughs> Cheers, Ryan. I appreciate you. For those who don't know, and if Ryan's uh, tag didn't give it away, Ryan's a regular here. We love him a bit. Please say hi to me. Well, I would if your name wasn't. Oh, no, there we go. Ella. Welcome on in, Ella. Lovely to have you here. And I'll dance, dance, dance with my hands, hands, hands above my head. You're in Napier. Welcome on in. Welcome on in Portland, Oregon. I like your style. Portland. I did a bit more painting last night to add it more to my monkey room. I love it. I love it. For those who don't know, Miss Honey sent me a shot of her monkey artwork that she's been working on lately. And it looks pretty fun. It's a pretty fun art style. It's unique. Subtly unique. That's your style, subtly unique. Well, this guy is a fan. I'll put you right there, team. There we go. And hold five for one second. We're gonna do something pretty fun here. If I can figure out how. I've got something pretty cool here. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right. So the sun's dipping, but because we're on the iPhone, it'll survive a bit longer into that sort of deeper dark parts of the evening. Enough time to add the steely blues, the Joanne Brilliance, which is essentially apricot, and with a bit of luck, a little bit of violet. But we'll see. We'll see. What I do need for an evening like this. There's a line that was cast up from the ground. So that no matter how dark it gets, you can still film in those late hours in the evening. That would be prima.
promise someday soon I will find that elusive uh, sound piece. I think I left it on the chair and lost it, but uh, we will find it. I promise you that. Not in disaster today, because if it was, it would be wet. Actually, it's just completely wet. You know, I'm glad, team, we just caught that sunset. There was a chance we would miss it. There was minutes in it. Are you on? We are very much so in all. Yes, indeed. This is Auckland. For those who don't know Auckland, it is the place called Aotearoa, land of the long white cloud. Thanks, Miss Honey. It's um, the sun's now dipped. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? You like it? Honey. Yeah. Charlie. It's a nice name for a dog. Charlie's a lovely name for a dog. Yeah, I'll buy. <laughs> oh well. Who's that? Pretty unique mage. LLC. Well, it's good to hear that you're a pretty unique mage. I think that sun's going to give us another 40 minutes of time. Gone burger. The sunset was 5.22. Sunset was 5.22. We're past that now, team. 5.33. How am I? I am... It's cold. Not for me. It's... It's a bit right. I'm warmed by the love of these two men. photo with the colours in it. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's not finished yet. I said three more layers to go. Three more layers and after those we actually have a stand down period as well. Period in which we actually wait. Yes Shelby, hope so. Doesn't keep you long in the cold. <laughs> I wouldn't dare Ryan. I wouldn't dare. Please. Um, So even after this picture's finished, there is a two to three day stand down period that I let the painting sit for. And in that period of sitting, we just examine it and wonder, is there more colours, is there more pockets, is there more moments? What else is missing in this work? that we could possibly capture. Let me bring you on around here. Here we go. Bring you to here. There we are. There we go. How do you feel about that position? Perfect. Hold your horses. Don't get too twisted around, team. How do you feel, guys? I'll put you right there. How am I doing today? I'm doing absolutely lovely. We've got two people here, Dave and Rick, and uh, the goal is to capture one of the first photos. One of the first photos that uh, they ever had together. And we're doing really great with it. This is a really, really fun picture, but I say this way too often. It's not there yet. It needs some more love. It needs some more time. Hello, you two. How you doing? Good. Did you bring down your easels and your paint? Oh, 
Well, you didn't. You left that at home. I like the house paint with the white brush. Yeah, that's fair enough. So what's the inspiration about being on the beach? Oh, what's the inspiration of the beach? Mainly the fresh air. Ah. What, why did you guys come to the beach rather than walking down the road? Oh, we, we, we put more clothes on. You put more clothes on? <laughs> because you should be freezing. No, 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 no. I'm very, very warm. We had about uh, 15 minutes down here so far, and I'm moving around a lot. You know when you go for a workout and you move around a lot, you start taking off layers. Yeah. Yes, but you're not moving that much. Oh well, jeepers! I'll try and move some I more. Mean, then. I mean, I just don't we'll try and uh, we'll try and catch up with the movement. I wouldn't want to transpose any uh, lethargic energy onto the surface. We only want bouncy vitality. Oh, we help it. But uh, it's also very, very hot where I'm staying at the moment. So the heat. It's yeah. in the heat pump all day. It's nice to get that fresh yeah. breeze. And, yeah. and it made a still warm. You can still swim. Is Is it? Well, I might go for a swim shortly. Well, Thursdays. Thursdays? Well, Thursdays is the swim day. I'm sure it's cut on Thursdays. Ah, so after you swim, you can warm up? So, so, you, so Cam has his mobile swim. Now we're talking. I got a question for you. Yes, hit me with it. Because you seem to know the oil paintings. Can we get it? Who's going to store an oil painting? Old oil painting. Oh, for right. a very long time. Yes. I've read different things. I don't put any bubble wrap on it. Make sure there's no plastic around it. Just put tissue on it. Do those do that. Because the reason why they say no bubble wrap on the surface or anything like that is over time, especially if heat fluctuates, it'll stick to it. Okay. Just because. But not on the surface, but they say if you have tissue paper. Huh? Careful with tissue. Right. Even stuff that says it's non stick, like even baking paper, yeah. will eventually stick. Because right. the paint, unless it's got a very, very good varnish top coat on it, yeah. it will actually adhere to things like a slow yeah. drying glue. Yeah. So what you need to do is make sure nothing's on the surface. Oh. So if you can, so the that's whatever wrap right. just goes over it. And once it actually isn't touching the surface, but it's around that's it right. and stopping dust, you can get away with literally anything. Okay. Your biggest concern for the longevity, UV rays, which sounds like in storage you're going to be fine for. No, but that's good because it's got a deep sensitive frame. You're safe. Like that. So I can put cardboard on the inner layer that's not touching the thing. Perfect. And I put bubble wrap around it. Perfect. That'll work. One really important thing, guys, when it comes to art storage, I know it sounds like an exact science, it's not that complicated. Don't boil it, don't freeze it, don't let the sun see it, you'll be fine. Nice! <laughs> well, what a fortuitous Boil, thing. freezing, sun, and don't let things touch the surface, and you are away, no matter what. There's a reason why all Van Gogh's work survived. They're all just uh, sitting there in the dark. Yeah, yeah, he's true. So they're fine. The so. Oh, what's his um, book? Van Hoch. Not an artist saying that the European I like his artwork. Right. The American way is Van Gogh. So it's entirely up to you. <laughs> well, there you go. I'm American. I'm not. Alright. <laughs> Sparky, I love the attitude. Who else do we have here? I prefer acrylic. Honestly, acrylic slabs, guys. Acrylic's where it's at. She said oil. I love oil, don't get me wrong. It's great for a whole bunch of reasons. But it takes six months to dry, and I'm not about that life. If you mix the right stuff into acrylics, excuse my messy hair, we got a little bit of wind out. If you mix the right stuff into acrylics, you'll get that intensity of color without having to resort to massive long drying times. Which means, when I say to a collector, we're gonna do eight layers of, you know, quick dry acrylics, which sometimes inside the eight layers, there might be another five layers. This is a winner, but with oils, every layer's weeks apart, unless you're combining in different things to make it dry fast. So, this is what it is. All right, back here. We are watching and waiting from Stampede, Calgary Stampede. You're in Calgary Stampede. Are you at the Calgary, is that on right now? I forget. But guys, I wasn't lying there as well. When it comes to storage of art, it is that simple. If you're gonna store art, 
avoid hot temperatures, avoid cold temperatures, avoid direct sunlight and avoid things from touching the surface. And apart from that, you're totally golden. Whatever you want, however you want it, you're gonna be fine. And I do not know why I can't get this picture compared to the surface. <laughs> um, catch you next time can't wait to see the finished product yes absolutely I'll take a picture front on of the finished one one of the important things we need to do is actually cut the size down so when we cut it it'll be a massive landscape thing and I'm working with the collector right now we need to decide whether it's going to be what sort of frame it's going to be now I had a lot of success with you guys on uh, Instagram. I asked everyone what kind of frame, and not a word of a lie, you guys helped me decide which frame it was gonna be. Because I went to the collector and I said, look, here's the suggestions, here's what I'm thinking, here's where we should probably go. And he said, yeah, perfect, let's do that. So I think we do that more often. I think we suggest that actually, you know, with this one, I'm thinking why? I'm thinking black, but bear with me. Wide, black, and textured. So about this wide. And it'll go the whole way around the edges and it will shimmer with the colors, but it will just, it'll just make sure these black parts actually fall back and these actual pastels and these whites pop out. So that's what I'm thinking. But before I lock that in, we will ask everyone. I think that's a, uh, that's a must. That's a must. And uh, he, uh, that late late evening of life who's that philly welcome on and it'll be about i want to say three to four inches but it works in centimeters so it's about i think it's a 10 centimeter frame so whatever the conversion on that is i think that's 3.5 and also, check this out guys, I just noticed this. Come on up with me here. Up, 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 up. If you can see it up there, way high up in the sky, there's the moon. It blows my mind whenever I look at it, that way up there, in the middle of the sky, is a giant ball of rock. And that light on it is the sun hitting that side. And it's so big that it illuminates it, and it illuminates it in a straight line. Alright. Ricky, welcome on in. This is, um, this is a bit of a funny stream as well, guys. We've got 160 people here. And thanks for the 9,000 likes, you absolute legends. But, but... We are losing sunlight, so we're going to keep going, but it's not long until we're literally painting in the pitch black. It's kind of fun though. It's kind of romantic. Well, I promised in the stream, right? <laughs> um, LJ, welcome on in. LJ, did you get into the Discord by the uh, link I sent you? Did it work? Did it work? I did. Perfect, perfect. And uh, that's good news. That's yeah, good news. Out of all the people, I mean, there's so many followers, uh, so many uh, long-term fans, but you are one of the people that I really wanted at Discord, so that's pretty special. Um, and I'll also say, guys, if you haven't checked it out recently, there's been a little bit of a release. There's been a release of five new prints. 
Now, I didn't do a big announcement because we know these works already exist, but they haven't existed as prints. So, an email is going out tonight, but guys, if you want to subtly check it out, there might be some work there you haven't actually seen before. So, jump on the link in the bio, go to the website, and it's like, oh my god, what a quest. But yeah, link in the bio, website, prints, and there's two that I love, and they're called Solo Gala, or Sola Gala, if you want to have a bit of French, uh, sorry, Latin to it. But they're uh, two massive portraits. And when you look at these works, understand. Oh, yes, I am. You are too now. And, uh, <laughs> and if you look at these works, they are 48 inches by 60 inches. Massive massive words so uh really really fun but 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 they haven't seen the light of day so i've kept them in totonga and i love them i've got them framed they're up on the wall of my parents house and uh the kind of thing that when you have a cup of tea or a late night drink. You just sit there and look at them. And I've, even after the last three years, I've constantly seen them. I've never got bored of them. I've always just added more to my day. So that's been pretty special. Los Angeles, welcome on in. Welcome on in. We're uh, not far off. Packing on up. So we're in the uh, tail end of the session as that light completely fades away. Zeet, you're turning many people onto art at Calgary Stampede. People are saying, Oh, that's fun. I like that. I like that. Well, we're losing the colour saturation at the moment, but uh, in the deep, dark evening that we're in, I can still see, we'll go for another six or so minutes, and then that darkness will really set in, and we'll be in the deep, dark team. Uh, LJ, Seb, do either of your parents so LJ, I'm the only painter. I am the only painter. And uh, this is what I love to do. Painting is my... Uh, I did it all through high school. I loved it through university. And then... I actually, sorry, I loved it all through high school. I went to university, went to art school, but finished with a degree of art history and philosophy. Avoided painting for a few years. I sort of battled with it for a while. And then later in the piece, I realized it wasn't a selfish pursuit. You could use it to make people happy. And once I realized that, I was all in. Literally, 100% in. This is what I do. What I need to do. All right. A little bit of black. A little bit more of that gloss gel. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, it always makes you smile. That's good. Now, out of curiosity, you should check out the uh, old collection. I say old collection. The works I've just uploaded as prints on the website. And I'd love to hear if they make you smile as well or or if you feel differently about them because as earlier pieces you may feel a little bit different but uh, you feel the same I love that because that'll mean there's continuity there see you later Sarah thanks for coming on in appreciate you hanging out here in the cold Who else is here? You absolutely love the way I see colour. 
Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. I, uh... Everyone has their thing. Everyone has their thing, but my thing is color. I absolutely love color. I often wonder, and this is a big question, I often wonder if I would paint the same or paint at all if color wasn't a thing. And I'd have to argue that the answer would be no. That my art form is almost entirely consistent with the colors I use. Lewis, welcome on in. Lovely to have you here. Lewis, you've catched, caught me. Catched. Caught me in the uh, final minutes of this live. So it was very brief. Basically, guys, I saw a sunset, saw inspiration, charged down here. I shouldn't use that word. I saw a sunset, felt motivation, charged down here, set up the canvas, and with the last 30 minutes to an hour of sunlight, started smashing paint on a canvas. And I'm really glad we did, because maybe we didn't get a whole lot of paint down here, but that kind of wild idea, of charging off into the wilderness and just starting, and just enjoying the process of making art, that's what painting's all about. That's what's meaningful. And I think what I do need to make these evening hours even more fun, I need to get myself a light to illuminate the canvas outside in the dark. Alright team, my eyes no longer work, and who's that there, judging you? <laughs> well judging you, you're doing a very good job of that right now, but I will say this, I put a post on Instagram today guys, and it's a classic picture, I'm smiling and things like that, you know smile for the camera etc but in the description if you've had time to read it i just outlined a whole bunch of my insecurities and things i don't like about myself so i wanted to do that because i felt like a lot of the time we put this giant front up of what we want everyone to see and no one sees behind the curtain and not just in a personal sense is that detrimental but in a professional sense Collectors don't want to see the smoke and mirrors that you can put up. They want to see the real version of yourself. They want to know that if they buy from you, that you're not going to suddenly fundamentally change. You can, of course, grow. You can go from a seed to a, a tree to, you know, a big sprawling whatever. But they want to know that actually you are you. That you're not, yeah, anyway. Beside the point. Guys, thanks for joining on this random little mission we've done here. You're an absolute bunch of champions. I'm gonna go inside because now that I've stopped painting, I'm starting to feel the cold. So, let's sort that out. Look after yourselves, guys. Lewis, you're a legend. Great to have you in here. Ryan, thanks for catching that thing. And you love that rant? All right. I was worried it was more of a ramble, but um, if you wanna hear more of the rant, guys, I articulated it way better in the uh, description of the Instagram post. Um, and if you want to hear more about the things that I do get insecure about, and I do battle with, and we all do this, we get over it, and we do what we do best, that's the place to go. Who gave that right at the tail end? Oh, Goofy Emma. Thanks for being in here, you absolute legend. I appreciate that. I'm so sorry. I can't be here for longer painting with you, but uh, art does still need light. But maybe, maybe it would be pretty funny one time. And bear with me, I'm just making this idea up right now. Maybe we get two lights, shine them this way so I can't see the canvas, it's just black. And we try and paint in the middle of the night and see what comes out if we actually cannot see the surface, possibly. Possibly. Let there be light. I wish that would work. <laughs> I 
I love that. Randall Ramble, either way, very well said. You champion. I appreciate that. All right, guys. Much love. I do need to get warm now. Otherwise, I will catch a cold because it is the middle of winter here. So look after yourselves. You're a bunch of champions. You actually, oh my God. <laughs> you can't see anything now, guys. I'll catch you later. Bye, team. All the best.